What's up, everybody? Ben Raz and Eric Lindquist here for Odd Shopper, and we are back talking all things PGA, the Memorial. Last week, you were not with me. I had to do the show solo. You didn't miss much, the Charles Schwab. But in fact, the audience missed much because I know for a fact you would have recommended Sam Burns, as you always do. We knew I wasn't doing that. Congratulations to Thank your you. boy. Another impressive W. We'll see what he can do in real tournaments soon enough. Uh, just take a little, little shot wow. at him. Just a little wow. shot Scotty Scheffler he goes no, head toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with an absolute in fuego Scotty Scheffler. And he one-ups him with a bomb. 30-1. Uh, to one. I wish I could have come, found better numbers coming off of a, a pretty lackluster performance. Um, or, or run of performances, if you will, for the last month and a half uh, since he took down a W in Florida. But uh, I feel really good about Sam Burns long term. I always have. I'm going to continue to beat the drum for him. And one day, Ben, I'm going to make you a believer. Doubtful. That day won't be today. But I will say this. <laughs> we have some picks here for the Memorial. And we're going to talk about sports betting is very difficult. If you've seen these videos, if you're a new user, you haven't signed up, go over there, deposit $10. And all you have to do is bet $10 on any NBA game. And when either team hits a three, they're going to give you $200. You can use the link in the description of this video or use the promo code OSPGA. So what do you do? You sign up, whether you use that link or that promo code. You deposit $10 or more. doesn't really matter. You bet $10 on either NBA team. When they hit a three, boom, $200 free dollars. You can use that for NBA, NHL, PGA, soccer. Use it for whatever you want. It's free money to your bankroll. It's a no-brainer offer. It's a great opportunity to take that money now. We turn the page, the Memorial, great field, great course, a lot of opportunities. The floor is yours. Where are you going for your first pick? Yeah, so I I, I feel like the top of the board, just you knew John Rahm was going to get steamed up. You knew Rory was probably going to get steamed up. He's had some decent form, even if he hasn't put it together on the weekends all the time for us. But I'm looking a little bit longer in terms of some of these studs. And the guy that kind of sticks out to me, and I'm curious if he sticks out to you, is Victor Hovland there at 25 to 1 here at BetMGM? There's a lot of these 25 to 1s. You're talking Matt Fitzpatrick coming off of a nice showing at Southern Hills. Shane Lowry's getting a lot of attention for DFS purposes this week. But I'm kind of enamored on falling on Victor Hovland. And this golf course, there's a couple of different lines of thinking because you get some of this really thick rough around the greens, this bluegrass, Kentucky bluegrass, that's just very thick, very difficult in terms of up and downs. I look at it as almost being a moot point with one of the worst chippers amongst the elite players in Victor Hovland. He's now lost around the green in all but three tournaments since the Memorial last year. So we're talking about him just being incompetent basically around the greens. But you know who else is going to have a tough time around the greens? Everybody else. These are small greens, long, rough. So I'm looking at a ball striker du jour. And there are two or three instances over the course of the last year where he's just gained 10 plus strokes T to green. Like that's the thing that Victor Hovland's capable of. He also hits a large cut, high cut. We saw with John Rahm, with Tiger Woods, with a lot of these other players that talk about this golf course. Jack Nicholas designs places to set up uh, that, that high cut type shot. Uh, Muirfield Village is no exception to the rules. So I'm looking at Victor Hovland. He's got the ball flight. He's got the tee to green stuff that continues to, you know, it's been, it's been hit or miss here, but 21st at the Charles Schwab losing almost two and a half strokes around the green. Even if he does lose in that department, all that matters is the putter flips. And, and I feel like Victor Hovland has had these spike kind of putter weeks along with some lead ball striking. So Victor Hovland's starting off my card. I liked Hovland last week, and I was actually really disappointed because you mentioned spike putting weeks. We got that at Charles Schwab. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't able to come with his typical ball striking, and he played fine. But for an outright, he was really not in contention uh, on the weekend. He faded pretty quickly, but I have no problem going right back to him. He is someone on this very channel, if you want my full betting card, talked about it yesterday with Aton Shander on putting for dough. Victor Hovland is on my card, so I am with you. I'm going to go a little further down. I I've mentioned in this video before, is my best outright of the year, actually, at Genesis. When Joaquin Neiman is in the mid-40s in non-majors, I will bet him every time. 45 to 1 on Joaquin <laughs> Neiman. Yeah. It it's a buy. I don't get it. Uh, this is a guy I mentioned, Genesis, absolutely won from start to finish against an elite field. In February, he's missed one cut in the calendar year. He's been positive tee to green in every event this year. The irons haven't been as good as we're used to seeing, but everything that Neiman does, everything that he can do, will translate just fine at Memorial. In his inaugural one, he came in sixth. He struggled a little bit since then, but he's had four appearances. I don't worry about any of that. The ball striking, 
the chipping has really improved with him. I think that's what transitioned him into an elite player in the last couple of years. It's the number though. I don't believe that Joaquin Neiman in any field should be 45 to one. You can get 40 to one, 45 to one. They're all out there. Put that on my card going forward. Put that on my card each and every week we see it. I think I come out ahead uh, when I get that type of number. I have absolutely no problem with that. I think that uh, Joaquin Neiman is going to long-term be another buy. He's the same way I felt about Sam Burns, where yeah, you have this parallels. amateur pedigree, a lot of parallels. Kind of sometimes when you watch them, it's it's not always a, a stripe. Uh, Sam Burns is always a stripe show, but Joaquin Neiman, uh, I just, I love the long-term pedigree of this kid. He's tough. Uh, they they they're built different nowadays coming out as 22 23 year olds so he's he's just no doubt one of the and i will also draw the riviera comp a little bit yeah. difficult golf course i mean not that they're one for one by any means but we saw him take it down at a difficult golf course another one different set of challenges here but uh, i will say nice to see a, a win in that kind of capacity all right hold on to your butts everybody oh, no. uh, in the words of samuel jackson but there's a buy that I have this week that I never thought I would recommend again because he's absolutely been broken. Absolutely been broken with the it's driver. Ricky, absolutely been broken. No. Thank you. We're going okay. to Patrick Reed this week. We're going to 40 okay. to 1. And in the DFS purposes, look, Patrick Weed is Patrick Reed is a long-term winner on the PGA Tour, a multiple-time major winner on the PGA Tour. And Muirfield Village is basically Jack Nicholas's homage to Augusta National in a lot of ways. And you know who plays really well at Augusta National is Patrick Reed. Uh, this rough is going to be far more penal than anything you're ever going to find there in Augusta National. But off the tee, just seeing him be flat for the first time in a while, he's now gained slightly in three of his last four tournaments, although there was a miscut. And the first time he really got himself into contention was last week, finally getting a top 10. His around the green and putting, I think he can be the type of player to get things done and, and be positive in that regard, where a lot of other players might struggle in that department. But really, the irons are the big thing that I'm keyed in on. He's now gained at the PGA Championship 5.2 strokes game with the irons and 3.5 there at the Charles Schwab. This is a buy immediately for me because of the winning capability he has to get to the top of the board and just put the lights out of it when he gets in contention. So Patrick Reed, Never thought that I would be recommending him for a bet, but, you know, DFS purposes, I think he'll probably maybe get a little bit more, more traction. We'll see as we get to Wednesday, but for sure, outright bet, I am taking it. He's going to be a, a, a hot topic this week because he gained in all four strokes gain categories last week, finally cracked into the top 10, and it was the Patrick Reed of old. Even during his struggles, the around the green game and the putting were there, but his off the tee game was so bad that it really kept him out of contention. So I, I am with you. This is a guy, he's got a green jacket in the closet. He's a major winner. He's a prolific tour winner. He knows what he's doing. And I think we have seen the form start to creep up. It's one of those, it's the age old question. If you wait and Patrick Reed breaks through, has a big week, you've missed the number. You're not going to find these numbers. If you're a little early, yeah, it could just be a blip on the radar and his struggles return. I'm more apt in the betting markets to try to be early, capture the number at the best buy low opportunity and say, okay, maybe sometimes it never comes to fruition. So I'm absolutely with you. Patrick Reed is in my one and done article this week. Oh, so we are aligned there, there. There you have it. We've got Victor Hovland in the mid twenties. We've got Joaquin Neiman sitting in that 45 to one range. And I believe he is right along with Patrick Reed in that same number. So if you're looking for those three outrights, there you have it. If you're looking for top twenties, top forties, everything in between, again, check out the channel, hit the like button and subscribe and hit us in the comments. Who is the winner of the Memorial? Is it one of the three guys we recommended? Is it Grio? Probably not, but maybe it is. Maybe that's what you think. I want to know. Eric wants to know. Odd Chopper wants to know. For me, for Eric, for Odd Chopper, thanks again for hopping in. Good luck. Enjoy the Memorial, and we will see you guys next week.